Good morning, everybody. Today we're back in the Catskill Mountains at our bushcraft camp. I've got a roll of twine and a coffee mug and the beginnings of a great bushcraft shelter. Let's go have a look. This is where we left off after our last bushcraft camp with just our two tripods that I attached my tarps to. To put down the coffee pot. All right, I also have my axe, tomahawk, my sven saw. That's always a good item. Quick cutting. And a hatchet. We'll see what we need today. All right. I have my regular backpack as well, but it's just the extra goodies. Now what I'm thinking today, instead of making an A-frame tent out of this, I'm going to move the whole operation forward a bit. The prevailing wind here in the wintertime comes from that direction, from the north-northwest. The winds are funneled between the mountains and they come from that direction most of the season. Well, this is holding up very nicely been here for almost a year now. Actually, the frame has been here for over a year. This is where we had our campfire during the bushcraft camp, and I had the two tarps coming off either side. So what I want to do is move these tripods forward about six feet, and then reset the camp facing the riverbed. I think it'll work out better for me. And I just got to take a hike back to the car, get some more equipment, I think I might build a fire to start things off, to be honest with you, it's a little bit chilly. We've been here since last night. We got in late in the afternoon and uh, we spent the night. I had to do a little bit of maintenance on the RV camp. Uh, I hadn't been here all summer for the most part, just stopped in to mow the lawn once while we were in Camp Nickerson in Gilboa. And that's basically it. So I had to come and then run the gasoline out of the lawnmower and the weed whacker and run the generator for a while, put a good charge on the batteries for the winter. Uh, and the plumbing system has been closed on the Airstream, so that wasn't a problem. But uh, just to put things away before we get snow packed, I'm glad I got here. There was a little bit of snow two nights ago. There was maybe half an inch. When I got here on the road coming down into the RV, uh, camp was covered and just a little bit of snow, enough to make you nervous, not enough to get you stuck. It's kind of when you get in trouble. Uh, once there's this much snow, you're not going to get in any trouble because you can't get the truck back here either way. you got to snowshoe in. So by getting some chores done yesterday here, I saved myself a lot of work later in the wintertime looking for things, putting things away. And I'll be ready just to snowshoe in here and camp. So what I want to do is have this bushcraft camp ready so when I come here, I don't have to shovel out and put up tarps to camp, I want to have something that is going to be weatherproof against the prevailing winds. All right, so the first thing is to do, I'm wondering if I could just walk these up. I don't know how attached to the ground they are. I'm going to turn off this camera. Okay, so we're pretty level. The fire pit. I'll just have to reverse the smile, you know, the other way. This will be the fire pit. This is gonna be really nice. This will be my view. Okay, I like the placement. Got a really nice view. I'm pretty level. Now I'm gonna get some yeah, logs. How about yay round? maybe even smaller, and start placing them on here. And then I've got a 10 by 12 tarp to put over it in my truck. I've got to take another hike out to that. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're doing some construction on the bushcraft camp here in the Catskill Mountains. We got lucky. It hasn't gotten a big snow yet. I don't have to come in by snowshoe at the moment. I can bring heavier equipment, get some work done. If I can get this weathered in now, our next trip uh, when I come in on snowshoes is going to be great because I'll already have the shelter put up. All we'll have to do is 
light the firewood, and start camping. And that ought to be a real treat. Thanks again for stopping by. Hope you enjoy. All right. We got a few more things. This is the tarp and my coffee. And I got a bag full of tarps and pegs and ropes and everything I'm going to need. Now, in addition to these tools that I've brought down, I also have a red milk crate and a five gallon bucket to work with, which are both great things to have in a bushcraft camp. Creek's running nice and high today. It's gonna be warm, 40s. That's very warm for December on the mountaintop. Oh, we're blessed with a, a nice, a nice night for a camp out. Okay, now I'm gonna go up and collect some nice sticks. Get them all stacked up. laying about here be looking for firewood at the same time i just hiked over here from the bushcraft camp this is going to be the new rv camp by the pond when i get back here to finish it actually i might do some of this work on this trip i've got some small trees that need to be taken out to finish the circular driveway there's two nice logs right there i come to fetch when i got here the pond was skimmed over with slush no ice yet. It's very, very, very full. Now this one, I was experimenting with the idea of splitting these logs and using them for siding for the house. That would be what you'd see up front. It's it too far gone to use for siding, but it'd make a fine beam here. Look at that. Still rough setup, but it's coming together. You see, that is some mushroom. Huh? Well, definitely off to a good start. I need to find something young and flexible that I could put in between them. I'm gonna go gathering more materials to have a good start on it. I need some thinner stuff now to go in between and hold it all together and I have a tarp to go over the whole thing. The little firewood for lunch. This is going to be a support for the center of the structure because these logs are getting heavy and when you get a snow load on there it's going to bow in so this i'll push up and i'll attach right there probably with a mechanical fastener okay just went out got my pack the rest of my gear to get comfortable with my chair we're gonna work on the fire pit and we're gonna get the back covered up with the tarp that we brought down. Mm -hmm. Let's go see how it looks. I like it. I kind of fussed with it a little bit while I was getting organized. We have to attach everything. We're gonna put all the weight on this center post. Okay, so now the project is to move this fire pit uh, change its configuration so it faces the new lean-to. 
it shouldn't be hard to do. Move a couple of rocks. Mostly about moving my gear. I should have thought about that before I stacked everything there, so. Oh well. Sun's starting to come out. It's December 2nd. We're in that time. Uh, we're getting close to where the sun doesn't really come up above the hill. It's getting very close where it's just kind of running the ridge. It's the gray time. You don't get a lot of blue sky, so I have to note when I see some. There you go. That's more like what I'm used to seeing. Gray. That's the north. A little over there clearing up. It's not supposed to rain too much. They're, they're calling for a possibility of showers, and around here, a possibility is pretty much a guarantee in this particular area. I moved all the stuff out of the way. Got a little bit of firewood here that I collected. It's not all that dry. All right, so I've got a base of stones right here. set from the center so it looks like I'm gonna wind up sitting here just gonna have to curl those in ground is very soft okay we can use a few more stones I've got a nice base to make the fire on. The beginnings of a good reflector. We're gonna go up another level on that at least. I might use some punky firewood for that. All right, let's make a fire, that's next. Nothing like a fire to civilize a new place, right? I don't even have everything attached yet. It's nice to have a fire here. Wind's been picking up a little bit out of the west. We may get a little bit of rain, so I think I'm gonna turn my attention. Now that I have a fire going, I'm gonna finish off tying up the structure and get a tarp on it just in case it starts raining, get some cover. All right, we got this twine and we're gonna attach these members together. So I don't get knocked in the head every time the wind blows. This one's already begun. We're gonna do this one now. It's gonna be a whole bunch of that. We'll have to tie it up more tightly, but they're not moving. We're gonna get these all tied in tightly, then we'll come back and make them look pretty at a later date. The day is growing short and I want to get us under some shelter here. Get our tarp on here before the night falls. It is 11.30 in the morning. So we're making pretty good progress. Basically, I'm taking four poles. One, two, three, four. Gives me a manageable piece to work with. Yeah, I'm not trying to make permanent connections here. I'm gonna come back and pretty these up later, just so they're not falling on my head every time the wind kicks up a bit. Getting safer. Okay, 
I'll come back when I'm a little bit farther along with this project. I just want to thank you for coming along and spending some time with me today at the Bushcraft Camp in the Catskill Mountains. We're working on the new Bushcraft Camp. Decided to improve things a little bit, get a little more cover. So when I come here in the snow, everything won't have to be dug out. All right, we'll be right I'll back. Clean up some of these ragged edges, but we're there. And if you notice, it's just starting to drizzle now. So I'm gonna pop a tarp on here. In wintertime, I like the brown on the upside, silver on the inside to reflect heat from the fire. Give me a little more camouflage here. It is drizzling. You know, it's important just to get this up, get my gear out of the rain. Boy, talk about shelter in the nick of time. Perfect. Okay. We're dried in at the moment, at least. We've got a fire and we have basic shelter. I have to finish tying down and getting it all set up, but it is taking shape. It's taking shape real nice. All right, we'll be back. These will be nice for the little fire reflector. A little rotten, but perfect. They won't burn. Okay, we got shelter just in the nick of time. We started rain showering. Hopefully it won't be long. It's almost time to start cooking lunch and the fire is hopefully gonna survive. I always have my alcohol stove if I need it. started the rain it's not too heavy but it's enough to be annoying so I just pinned off the tarp so we have a nice dry place here's our entryway eventually I have a fire pit to put in here and I've got a, a wood burning stove to put right here and that's our long fire over there all right now I'm cooking up a rice dish by Noor's you know one of those little side dishes that I always use and I have two hamburgers to grill up, which are going to be beautiful. There's my little backpacking grill. It usually does the job for a couple of burgers. Burn it off. And in my billy pot, I've got a little rice dish that is just boiling away. It looks good. It looks really good. Okay, we're almost ready to start cooking those burgers. We're gonna let that grill clean itself off. The fire go down the charcoal again, and I will start making burgers. Mm. Okay, the burgers are just fine. Let's see how the rice dish is doing. It's getting there. It's really hot.
Mm. We'll get started on the rice. While well, the cheese melts on the burgers. Mm, so I'm getting really hungry. Nice little coal fire here. It's cooking beautifully. Not too fast, but nicely. That's the floodplain in the river valley. You can hear the, the creek all day. It's moving pretty good. Two hamburgers with some cheese melted on top and some a nice little rice dish. I have some car trip, courtesy of McDonald's. And then we're gonna pick out. All right. Thanks for joining me today. We are at the bushcraft camp. We've got a fair amount of work done. I moved the whole thing back away from the creek. We put up all the, the beams and I just quickly threw up a tarp because it started raining. Uh, now that it has stopped raining, we'll be able to get back to it. All right, lunch break. We'll be back when I'm done eating. Beautiful scene. fire reflector built out of old punky logs. The fire is starting to come back if it ever stops raining. It's still drizzling a bit. I had a nice lunch. Now I'm back to collecting firewood. Nope, it continues to rain off and on showers. So when it's off, I get a little work done. When they start showering in, I sit down and relax a little while. It's getting muddy, so I spent a bit of time collecting some stones to put under my feet so I'm not you know mucking things up it always makes it a little more comfortable when you don't have mud everywhere look at my pants my boots the fire has been struggling since lunch because of the rain but it's coming back now I put up a nice fire reflector I use those three punky logs that I found in the woods it's gonna be nice brings the fire just a little bit closer into the tent. This is our situation here. It's basically a lean-to built on two tripods. Today we put in all these beams and I put in a center post, tied everything up with some twine and it started the rain so I quickly put up our tarp give you an idea I haven't finished tying it down yet I just had the four corners done so I need to go around and tie these off stake them out most of the wind comes from this direction and hits this corner right here in front of me so I'm trying to you know get that set up first and that's basically where I'm hanging out right in there so this needs to be well fortified and I want to cut down on all the drafts coming from underneath it I don't mind a little bit over here you know a little bit of ventilation is a good thing and this is going to be where my cot's going to be eventually right. it needs some improvements but we're getting there now I brought along a few items most importantly I have a an old fire pit that I used to use when RVing that I'm gonna put right in here. It's a round pit on legs with a metal basin. So I'm gonna bring that over. I have that out in the truck. I'm gonna hike out to it. And I have, what you've seen is my wood burning stove that I have in front of the, the, uh, the shed that I'd like to put right here, which will be right in front of where I'm gonna put my cot, right in this area here. So that could work out real nicely for us. All right, I'm going to be collecting more materials. Put you back here in front of the fire for a while. It's always raining here in the Catskills. I mean, if it's, you go a day or two without rain, it's a drought. I mean, we need the rain up here. This is New York City's water supply. Okay, so it's really nice to have these stones in here 
makes life a lot less messy. And we got a nice fire, it's gonna dry everything out now, hopefully. Nice. Love the smell of coffee. So we're making some progress. Um, gonna tie up a few ends here and there, uh, secure the tarp. I'm gonna clean up, collect some more firewood. I'm gonna call building uh, a day here. I'm gonna hang out for a little while and then I'll be coming back tomorrow for the finishing touches and uh, possibly a camp out. Well, okay, I've been Securing with twine just about everywhere at each connection along the ridge. I even went so far as to put a couple of straps across the back, which will make it easy for me to put some camouflage material on there on my next trip. I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm losing light. Just spent the last hour or so uh, collecting some firewood and some stones for the, the ground in front of the fire, very muddy. Very windy today, too. Let's let this one die down a little bit. I went down the sides. On both sides. I put pegs in where I could along the back. I think that ought to really do it. And this will be the entrance. Right here is going to be a little fire pit. A metal fire pit. I'll bring that on the next trip. So we basically, we have our rough frame here all done. I have a 10 by 12 tarp attached, so I have a dry space. All right, so that's about all I'm gonna try to get done on this particular upload. Uh, next time when I come back, we'll get into some more detail. I've got a fire pit that I wanna put in and a wood stove that I wanna put in. Uh, I got a forage for a, a bunch more stone for the ground. This is very muddy here. It's normal Every place I ever Utilized here. I always have to put down a stone base or else you wind up up to your hips. Look at my pants <laughs> What a mess, huh? Oh, luckily I brought an extra pair I've got another hot cup of coffee 
to have and I'm just going to sit here and let the, the light die down. We're going to take a hike back to the RV camp and spend the night there in the shed. I've got a little bit too much to do here. It's muddy. I don't have any firewood. You know, I'm at my limit today as far as foraging for firewood. But I think this came out really nice. It's very, very stable. I've got a nice center post here, which is doing its job, taking all the weight. Now, once we start getting snow on here, this is really going to be important. Now, I'll probably put a mechanical fastener on that one and some more twine before I'm done, just to stiffen that up a little bit more. And then I got to come back with a saw and head these guys off a little bit, clean things up. That'll be part of the firewood project, I guess. I'd like to stockpile some firewood too on the next trip. Maybe get a stock firewood underneath the tarp over here. That would be nice. All right, there's plenty of firewood here on the property. It's just a matter of scavenging it up. It's hanging in the trees. It's laying in piles that I have. I haven't taken down a tree in a while and I could probably look around and find a dead one to chop down and give myself some nice rounds of uh, firewood would be good maybe that's what we'll do on the next trip all right thank you for joining me today here as we put together the bushcraft camp for another winter of camping in the catskill mountains we'll see you next time thanks so much for watching everybody if you're new to the channel please hit the subscription button in the corner ring the bell next to it so i can notify you when my next video comes out if you enjoy this content give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment below so I can know that you were here and let you know that I appreciate your watching. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. <sighs> That's the floodplain. There's another stream like this on the other side of the floodplain going there and they connect up over here. It's a nice dead tree right there. It would make some good firewood. I just came down here to rinse out my cup. Fell in the mud. Oh, brother.